Happy Friday and welcome back to another episode of Talking Freight. As you know by now, the weekly freight and transportation management series brought to you by Saracis, the transportation management solutions company. As always on each Talking Freight, we're here to share best practices, tips, trends, and ways to more effectively help you manage freight spend and transportation processes. In today's Talking Freight, we continue the long road down with our full truckload series. Did you get that? Road? Full truckload? Shipping? Okay, you're not here for the comedy. But this time, we're going to talk about a hidden gem in the surface transportation world, freight consolidation for full truckload. Full truckload shipping is generally less expensive than other over-the-road transportation modes. Less than truckload has more stops, touch points, and risk. It takes more time to get shipments to your customers. But remember, time is money, and if your product sits in the back of an LTL van for several days, well, your consumers could flock to your competitors. Instead of throwing in the towel, shippers can leverage full truckload shipping to ship LTL shipments in the back of a full-size van or trailer. Well, how? Well, it goes back to knowing when to put two and two together to make four, with four being full truckload and two being an LTL shipment. So, all right, let's talk about full truckload and freight consolidation. Let's first address the problem. Shippers using LTL exclusive shipping have minimal, if any, profitability in freight spend. Shippers have been steeped with the topic of LTL shipping for years. Hey, we've even written about it and educated shippers including on how to make better use of it, reduce freight spin, and of course, leverage technology like a TMS. Unfortunately, the increased use of LTL shipping has resulted in an unusual problem. Shippers are turning to LTL exclusive shipments, which can significantly drive up freight spin. Yet, shippers should consider using a transportation consolidation program to gain better control over freight spin and stay profitable as shipping rates continue to rise. Although LTL rates have remained more expensive than full truckload freight, full truckload rates are on the rise too. Truckload rates rose 17 to 25% in January 2018. In addition, analysis of contract and spot market prices revealed rising rates in medium range hauls, 450 to 550 miles driven per lane. Surging demand for full truckload inherently implies a forthcoming greater rate hike on LTL shipments, which are regulated by the National Motor Freight Traffic Association, or NMFTA. However, the NMFTA is more likely to raise average rates in response to demand, and according to multiple sources, the capacity crunch stands on the brink of becoming, if not already, a full-fledged transportation crisis as more drivers are retiring, and the capacity is simply unavailable. Unfortunately, this is creating the perfect storm for shippers trying to stay competitive and make a profit in shipping. So what is the solution? Well, freight consolidation transforms LTL shipments into full truckload freight. Consolidation programs, also known as retailers consolidation or multi-customer consolidation, is a go-to solution for combining multiple LTL shipments or parcels into full truckloads. In other words, the freight consolidation program creates volume to existing shipments by combining shipments from a given shipper or multiple shippers to reduce the overall number of miles traveled had the package been sent via LTL or parcel. This is essentially intermodal shipping, but it is important to note that freight consolidation is essential to leveraging the full potential of full truckload shipping. The benefits of freight consolidation have a direct impact on available market capacity. Freight consolidation does more than just combine shipments. It makes shipments more attractive to drivers and carriers. As a result, shippers employing freight consolidation tactics can access available capacity in full truckload and, therefore, reduce costs. So what does freight consolidation really mean for shippers beyond cost savings in shipping? Ah, well, that's the reward. Merging shipments really levels the shipper playing field. Take a moment to think about how freight consolidation rewards shippers. 
rewards derived from the components integral to an effective freight consolidation program, which include the following. Connecting with other shippers who have LTL shipments ready to ship. Identifying the lowest cost carrier for a given lane. Reviewing the driver and carrier chosen for past infractions and track record of transporting full truckload shipments. And finally, using technology to manage the process when it involves multi-stop routing and keeping information updated in real time, as well as deconsolidating the shipment at the destination. The components of a freight consolidation program require systems capable of broad scalability and visibility, such as cloud-based transportation management systems, or TMS. Small and mid-sized shippers can leverage the power of TMS, much like the big box retailers, by working with 3PLs and taking advantage of an available software as a service or SaaS platform like our very own Cerasis Raider. In conclusion, Full truckload shipping rates are not regulated by the NMFTA, and as a result, shippers have an opportunity to take advantage of lower rates than LTL shipping through freight consolidation. LTL rates are expected to continue climbing, especially if an infrastructure bill is not passed in the coming months. Therefore, shippers need to begin preparing to use freight consolidation to tap into the value of the full truckload shipping by partnering with a 3PL sooner, not later. All right, well, that's it for this week's Talking Freight. Got any questions about freight consolidation that we can answer? Ask them in the comments section below this video and we'll get right with you on an answer. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe and also hit that little notification bell and join Team Talking Freight. And like social media, we do too. And if that's how you like to get some informational content from us, Make sure you follow us here on these social media platforms. And lastly, want to get an email every time we put out new informative content around freight, logistics, and supply chain? Go to saracis.com. Scroll down about 30% of the page. This little box that you see here coming up will come up on the website. Put in your email, hit submit, and you're subscribed. Thanks for joining us this week. We enjoy you watching and we'll have another Talking Freight next Friday.